All right, everybody, welcome back. This is going to be part two. This is going to be my review of the new Recover cold tub. So I did an unboxing, kind of initial thoughts video, probably uh, about two and a half months ago now. It was a Father's Day gift back in June and doing a lot of endurance training this year, gearing up for some triathlons, have two big races for the year coming up. Uh, one uh, in another week, one a couple weeks after that to finish up the year. And I wanted something to just kind of help, kind of just spark that recovery. So I was doing this more for the recovery of endurance sports reason. I knew this wasn't a type of tub or cold tub or ice plunge that was gonna be down into you know the mid 40s without a lot of work or anything like that. But I just wanted to get something that, like they say, below 60 degrees that can start to you know start reducing inflammation, kind of jumpstart that recovery process for training, specifically endurance sports. Initial thoughts, you know, we, uh, you saw we set it up over here in the garage, filled it up. It was good. Uh, we were using it. The only thing was, you know, the way it stood, um, it really, it's not insulated. It gets in the high seventies in here all summer in and out with the door and all that. So being right here, it was just going to fight itself trying to stay cool. So I needed something to do in order to kind of try and keep it cooler between times of use. I wanted to basically use it every day for 10 minutes is kind of what I've been doing is, uh, so here we go. This is what we've, where we're at right now. We went to uh, Lowe's Home Depot, looked up some products, got a lot of ideas from some of the Facebook groups, the DIY plunge groups. But what we wound up doing is getting some foam board. I believe this is, uh, I believe half inch or quarter inch foam board and just wanted to make a box for it kind of keep the hot air away from it also as you'll see i bought some type of uh there's a lining i'll put these links down in the description of what the products actually were from the store but it was a wrap it was like a 25 foot wrap i was able to wrap the tub three times and that was able to kind of keep it insulated around there a little bit inside as well put a top on it kind of keep a uh, you know as, as cool as we can go between uses to try and minimize how much ice and things we have to put in there cleaning it how are we going to keep it sanitary and clean and because it can be kind of annoying to dump out 50 gallons clean it scrub it refill it every couple days and then you put hot water in it again from being outside and then it has to cool down again so after a couple weeks and reading and doing some research there was a few things which i'll show you in here is uh, we've added a submersible aquarium pump from amazon i think it was uh, around 50 bucks uh, and we keep that running and then added recently a uv light as well and we also are putting a little bit of salt in it just to keep it sanitary between uses it's just myself using it right now between my uh my training endurance sports once a day 10 minutes a day and we're easily getting a week out of the water now without it getting really too cloudy or murky or anything like that beforehand without anything without any water movement in there you know, if you go in there at all salty, dirty, whatever, it, everything sits to the bottom and you're, you're gonna get like two or three days out of that before it just really starts to get kind of nasty. So that's where we're at here. I'll show you a couple things. I'll get it set up uh, right now. I'm going to do a quick indoor bike ride for an hour. So I'm gonna use this afterwards. Uh, and then I'll show you how I get it and what I do when I'm getting in it. I recorded that part of the video yesterday after my run, but it was too early to do a setup video like I'm doing now yesterday. So let me show you what we got here. Again, under here, right now, it's just a quick little top. What I do want to do, I was going to frame it out with some nice wood, but we got a couple moving parts going on in here, so I don't want to, I don't have my energy and time to spend on this project right now. But what I might do also, instead of adding wood to it, is maybe I'll just get a, they make a, a thicker board, I believe it's a one inch foam board, and maybe just do a nice outer one inch layer of it as well, just to give it a little more insulative properties and then make a nicer cover out of that one inch and kind of maybe put a wood top on that just so I can use it kind of as a tabletop in here as I'm doing things and getting all my gear together for the next training session because I did have a table here so I did lose that but let's get into it here this again just simple little top that I, I take off right now is just the scrap pieces I had I had another scrap piece of foam here so I just keep that in there and I can already feel that it is a little cooler air coming out of here than it is in this warm garage this is really this insulate is not insulated cover this just kind of keeps the the junk out which is fine um you know it is what it is but you probably don't even need that after a while this is probably the dirtiest the water's gonna get this is i should have cleaned it yesterday but i wanted to do it um do the video first uh and get another plunge in before we do that so probably gonna empty it out after this one today get it ready it's just a good thing to do it on the weekends keep a schedule like that 
to here real quick, show you what the pump looks like inside, show you what the UV light looks like inside. And again, this is probably the dirtiest you're gonna see it. Um, sorry, you know, it is what it is. This is the day we're filming this video. So you can't see it in there. UV light, take the UV light out, put it right over here, always shut the power off. I'll show you what the pump does as far as pulling out of the water, what you can see. And that pump's been running for, you know, basically a week now, just like an aquarium would. And that thing's probably a little gunked up inside. Pretty easy to clean. It comes in three parts. There's a foam filter inside and there's two um, fish type filters in there, like uh, bio balls that they have in there. It's cartridges, you can take them out, clean them under the water. You'll see it gets pretty nasty. Put it back together, put it back in with some fresh water. It's gonna keep it clean. Also a little tip is make a line inside the tub here. Kind of see that right there is a little silver line. So when you're filling it up, you always get to the same part because you don't, especially if you have it inside and you, you dip down in it, you literally the water comes straight up to the brim. It's perfect, covers my shoulders. And every time I know I'm not gonna overflow it, I don't have to worry about easing into it. I can just get in. As long as I know the water's below that, we're good to go. I do have a digital thermometer on here. It is pretty off, uh, you know, well, I had the floater in there and tested the temperature. It's a, probably almost a five degree difference. But what I use that temperature for is just so I can gauge just with a consistency of kind of like how warm did the tub get since its last use. When I put the, the, the stuff in there, the ice and all that for my use, how much did the temperature come down since the last use? So I'll show you what I'm doing for ice as far as to, to cool it off right now. I usually do it right before my hour ride or I do it right before I go out for my run is I'll go in the freezer right here. We got some blocks of ice I like to freeze and then some water bottles. I'll throw both of those blocks and those water bottles in there about an hour before, cover it up and we'll see how much the temperature drops. And it usually gets me right into that high 50s range, no problem, 58, 57 degrees. And that's perfect for what I'm looking for. Just wanna get in there, chill, quick 10 minutes, start spark that uh, recovery and I feel great afterwards. If you wanna go more than that, you're just gonna have to add some more ice, add some more blocks, set up your freezer, do four, five, six, seven, ten 10 blocks, but I'll show you how quick it is and easy to put these blocks of ice in there, refill it and put it back in the freezer. First thing we do is put the frozen water bottles in. These are from the local store. They're like a nice thick water bottle so they don't get crappy every time you're using them. I've only had one leak on me that we've had to replace. Now we got these like shoebox sized blocks of ice. Just stick them in upside down. You'll start to hear them crackle and pop. And they do pop and break right out of that after it hits the water. Fill that back up about three quarters of the way with your water. You'll never have to worry about the amount of water you have in there because you're using the same water. Same thing, pop that one out. Fill it up, three quarters, back in the freezer. All right, so there you go. Everything's floating around in there already. I can already see the thermometer starting to pop down a little bit. And this is what it's gonna look like when you put the two uh, buckets of water back in the freezer. I just make a little shelf in there with two pieces of wood, close it up, within 12 hours, they'll be frozen again. So even if I wanted to work out tomorrow morning, I'll have those blocks of ice again. I'm gonna add probably two more blocks of ice. So I have four of them for now, but this is, you know, the quickest thing you got to, uh, you know, reusable. I'm not spending any money on ice. That's a big problem that people have. And so it's already coming down, already popped down a degree in there. I'm going to throw this lid back in, put the top back on, kind of make it a little cooler. And I'm going to go uh, hit up my bike ride inside and hit a nice hour. And then I'll show you, you know, getting in the plunge afterwards, which is actually what I filmed yesterday after my morning run, which it was soupy out. So it felt really good to get back in there. All right. So real quick, final thoughts on this is entry level getting in on this. Well worth it. I mean, your, your investments in are about a hundred dollars to begin with. Add some of these little extra things on the board and all that you're under in under $200. You can kind of get in a nice cold plunge every day. Maintenance is relatively low with the filter. We're talking once a week, maybe every five days if multiple people are using it. And there's some other things you could do. You know, people have you know, a little bit of uh, food grade peroxide or chlorine in there to just keep it more sanitary. That's up to you. Uh, maybe something I'm gonna do in the future, but I do wanna dress this up, make it a little nicer. 
and kind of just uh, see where we go with it. But definitely paying out big time. Uh, the habits there, you know, I enjoy going in it every day, especially after the workouts. So that's it. Stay safe. Enjoy. And I'll be, uh, you know, take a look at the plunge after the run. All right. So run done. 13.1 miles today. A little half marathon training for 70.3 triathlon in two weeks. We set up the tub before the run. So it's about two hours ago, which was good. Put the two blocks in, put in a bunch of the water bottles. Um, temperature came down about oh, five to eight degrees, almost 10 degrees actually of what it was prior. Uh, Cause I wasn't in the tub yesterday. So I didn't have ice in it yesterday. But the good thing for me is with endurance, what I like to do is just, it jump starts my recovery. makes me feel fresher. You know, it is 85 degrees out right now. This is some of the warmest weather we've had in New York all summer, basically. And uh, it's good. It's just good to build this habit to get in here afterwards, veg out for 10 minutes. I try and do 10 minutes. What I usually do is I'll put something on. I'll keep headphones on, uh, put on some type of podcast or motivational talk. I use the app uh, Pep Talk. It's got all kinds of motivational videos on it. Good talks, things like that. I'll just pop it on here. Got the headphones on. It's playing right now. And then uh, just hop in. So like we saw before, how I keep it, it's all covered up. Um, I plan on, again, getting that, uh, building a better box around it. But, um, you know, that's something I'm going to do when I have some time. So good to have just a little extra insulation on it. Pull this off. By this time, these bottles are going to be, you know, melted. Just kind of pop those off for now. And we're good. We're sub 60, high 50s. That's where I like to be for my 10 minutes after endurance sports. And, uh, you know, when we shut the power off to it, always do that too, because we got the aquarium pump in there. I'll leave that pump in there. UV light, I'll just pull out just so it doesn't break or anything like that. And uh, that's it. We'll throw, throw COVID the puffer fish back in, kind of see where we're at once we're done, give you a little reading. But what do we gotta do? We gotta get in this thing, because I'm sweating right now and we just, we just gotta get it done. Initially get in, count the three, get in, do it. Uh, we'll see where we're at temperature wise in a little bit. It's below 60 right now, it's rating about 56, 57. There's a digital thermometer up there, cheap one off Amazon, but I do notice it reads about five degrees warmer than it's supposed to be, but it's good just so I can get a reading on where this tub is sitting when it's covered. Um, just so I know if it gets a hot day in here, temperature comes up, I may put a little ice in it during the day just to keep the temperature down. Uh, it's all about just keeping that average temperature down for this. But this is it. 10 minutes listening to something in the headphones. Just chill out. The videos I watch are about five minutes long each. So usually go through two of them. I know it's about time. I'll take a look at my watch. And, uh, and that's it. If you notice during the plunge, you know, your body kind of creates this thermal barrier around it. Just move, move your arms around, move your legs a little bit. You, you know, shake up that water a little bit. You'll feel it. It'll get nice and cool again. So overall thoughts and impressions. I mean, to get started with, you know, cold plunging, that the type of benefits for it, I think it's great. Um, you know, if you're looking for that 40 degree, you know, that really deep chill factor, those couple minutes to get those benefits, you know, you're going to have to get something a little more uh, robust. You have to get a, a chiller, something that's going to make that water really come really down. It's just not feasible if you're going to be doing ice, bags and bags of ice, some people put 40 pounds of ice in it each time. But if you're looking to just, you know, you're in sport endurance, you want that little bit of recovery factor or that just that little bit of you know, reducing the swelling, inflammation, after workouts, this is definitely, definitely, you know, go-to. I've noticed a lot of, um, I recharge a little quicker between 
workouts, a couple little issues going away. I pair this with nice stretching routine every day. Kind of really keeps everything together through uh, the training. This has been now probably at least two months now. It's actually, this was a, I believe a Father's Day gift. So we yeah, over two months now. The only time I didn't do it was we were away for a week. Um, I did try and bring it when we went away. We didn't actually set it up when we got there. When I got back though, I noticed there was a pinhole in the outer, uh, the blow up edging on here. We were able to patch it uh, just from, I guess, zipping it up and packing it up to try and take it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't travel with this. It's not really meant to break down and, and fold away and bring back out. It's meant to kind of sit there, be full. Um, you know, we're getting, uh, getting about that week time frame of being able to swap the water out. It's definitely with the filter stays a lot clearer and that UV light. We only got a couple days out of it prior to that. And definitely going to put another barrier of this foam around it for the summertime. It's definitely going to keep it. It helped big time having this the foil wrap on here and then keeping everything contained because it does get pretty hot in the garage in the summertime. And as we progress now into fall, winter, it's definitely going to day to day stay cooler because it is warmer in the garage than the tub sits with no ice in it. This garage can get to 75 plus on a really hot set of days in here. So that's just going to, it's just going to fight that temperature with the water. But once you're talking about the garage is only going to be 65 degrees or 60 degrees as we get cooler outside, especially the temperatures at night, it's going to be able to keep that temperature between plunges down. So when you are adding ice, it's going to be able to pull that temperature down. So I'm, I'm interested to see how plunging goes as it's super easy to get this water down to about 50 degrees and it'll be gradual like anything like the, you know, as a coach with athletes and the people getting into sports or anything in life, you got to gradually get into things. If you're going to get, try and get into this and expect to, you know, cause your buddy's doing 45 degree plunges for two minutes. You just want to jump into that. I mean, everything's good in moderation, ease into that, build those habits, enjoy it. Um, if you don't like doing something, you're not going to do it. So you got to find some kind of enjoyment in it. And, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with this. You know, this is enough for me. I got goosebumps right now. It's nice. Uh, we're at like, you know, this is about 57 degrees right now, but after an 85 degree run at seven o'clock in the morning already, this is perfect. This is what I need to just cool the body temperature down, core temperature, and just start that recovery process in the body. Just cool the body down. So I'm going to enjoy my last few minutes here. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed the little catch up video on this. I'm enjoying this product, especially for the price point and the minimal amount of maintenance I need for what I want to get out of it. Uh, as of this point right now, I'll put down in the description a discount code and what that percentage is right now. It kind of changes from time to time from the company, but there is a discount available. If you use the link down in the description and, uh, you know, thanks for supporting the channel. And I uh, hope you got something out of this. Hope maybe uh, this makes your decision on if you want to get into it or not. And that's it. Stay safe, stay healthy. Balance that life one mile at a time. I'll see you next time in the plunge. All right, 10 minutes. We're good. <laughs> Goosebumps. Sometimes the worst part is getting out too because it feels like colder when you get out. But that's it. 10 minutes. We're in. We're done. Um, but that's it. All good. Thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how yours is doing. If you have the new Recover, Ice Pod, whatever it is, some type of uh, unit like this. Let me know some tips and tricks you use, how to keep it clean, whatever you got. Stay safe, stay healthy.